Hey, sneak us back for a real quick one. Yeah, I've been away, you know. My intentions were, before we'd done this video, I had a couple of weeks off and I should have had some time to do quite a few videos. Unfortunately, the real world got in the way and I had stuff to do and still have, so I'm about three weeks behind, but we will catch up as soon as I can, okay? Anyway, what have we got here? It looks like Raspbian on the Raspberry Pi. No, it's not. Okay. There were a few weeks ago, or well, a few months ago, I'd done the video on a Raspberry and Pixel, which you could run from a USB stick or a disc on an ordinary PC. Okay. Super duper. Didn't play word in the box. This time, this is Debian with Pixel. It's been forked, okay, by the guys at Exton. You know, the Swedish people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They do loads of distros. We'll come to that in a minute. And basically, the fork isn't too bad, okay? It's not perfect, but it's not you know, bad, 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 bad. So I'll just quickly go around with you. If you want to give it a try, go and give it a try. But it does need a bit of work, I think, to make it run properly, okay? Anyway, <clears throat> you still get the usual programming. So all the stuff from Raspbian is here. So you've got BlueJ, Java, Genie, Greenfoot, Python 2, Python 3, Scratch is here. Remember, this is Scratch 1, okay? Scratch till you get through Chromium, the browser, okay? Because this runs Flash, okay? So that's super duper. You also get the Sense I, so Sense I, Sense Hat emulator, same as I showed you before, but this time in full 1080 screen, 60 frames a second. And you can just do emulate your stuff before you do stuff on your Raspberry Pi, okay? I've not actually connected my Pi up or anything yet, to be honest with you. I've not had long to play with it. I've only just had a couple of days off, to be honest with you. I've been too busy. Usual, you get the usual full LibreOffice suite. Full LibreOffice suite. It runs sweet as a nut. Look, super duper. Because it is Debian at the end of the day. It is missing some packages, but when I play with it a bit more, I'll tell you, maybe tell you another time. Chrome is your web browser. Claws mail for your mail. Filezilla. Oh, for Verzilla. Raspberry Pi resources. So if I click on there, you'll see what I mean. There you go. Wait for it to come up. And there you go. Straight to the raspberrypi.org. Which I tend to be on quite a lot these days. Yeah. Long story, we'll come back to that. Okay. Anyway, where was we? Oh yes, internet. We also get a link to the Magpie magazine. The Magpie is the magazine for makers on the Raspberry Pi. So he's actually trying to keep it, you know, he's fought it quite basically. Oh look, 3 pi zero. Yeah, I've got one of those. Mm, I've got quite a few actually, but we'll come back to that. The fork is quite good. But installing some other stuff has broken it sort of, and I'll come to that in a minute, okay? So anyway. And the games, you still get the usual Python games. I'll click on it. I'm not going to play any, otherwise we'll be here all the time. Leave my audio as is. You get basic 8-bit games. Or 4-bit, 2-bit, and maybe a 1-bit. Who knows? Hmm, okay. <sighs> Sound and video. Right, install Kazam and record my desktop. Kazam is missing quite a lot of dependencies, even though it seemed to install okay. And install dependencies with it. It's just not doing the business, okay? So you're going to have to enable some repositories from the Debian section to get it to run right, okay? We've got my desktop, though. Yeah, does a job. Right, now this is the good thing. is use the refractor installer to install it to a hard drive, okay? And it works super fine. Yes, you do have to use Gparted first. Yeah, you do. To partition your drive, but just uh, one home partition and one swap partition. If you've got loads of RAM, don't even bother swap partition. As you're saying these days... A lot of the new distributions are not coming with a swap partition, they're coming with a swap file. Because machines now are coming as standard with 8 gig, 16 gig of RAM, okay? I mean, I've got a lot more than that, but that's just me because I built it myself. A bit different, isn't it? You know? Although I don't think I've ever used the whole 64 gig of RAM. No. I've tried to, it just doesn't want to use all up, I know. You also get Refractor Snapshot. I'll just click on it for you to have a quick look, and it wants my password. Okay, <clears throat> you're ready to create a live instable snapshot of your system. So basically, you can make the system your own and then burn it to disk so that everybody else can use it. Yeah, nice, I like it. Let's click on next, but then I'm just going to exit because I don't want to do that really, do I? No, I don't want to do that at all. As you can see, I'm using nothing at all. This will run really good on a low end system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it will do, yeah, be alright. But it does need some tweaking still, okay? So anyway, go down a bit more, under accessories, get usual, calculator, image viewer, screenshot, SD card copier, you do know that you use Raspberry Pi a lot, task manager I'll open up for you, 125 mega RAM, that's all we're using, okay, all we're using, it runs nice in the box by the way, unlike the other one, I don't know, we'll come back to that another time, 
Okay, yeah, and that's about it, really. You got the Dublin reference and Raspberry Pi help. Under preferences, right, this is what I found. I enabled, sorry, in the last one I installed, I did on the Raspberry Pi, I actually enabled Synaptic Package Manager and it did the same. It actually broke the add remove software section. So some things wouldn't download. So if I go to, I don't know, it'll probably work now. So if I go to Abbey Word, it'll probably work and call me a liar. Liar, my pants are on fire. So there we go. Abbey Word 3, it's not the most. Thing. I'm going to apply that and OK it. Right. Has that worked? I think you'll find it hasn't. It's actually broken it. I know, I know. That's a bit of a bummer. So if I go to uh, Office, and that'd be weird. But what if I go to Synaptic? Let's see if it'll do it there. So, so some things are quite broken. And these need to be looked at quite a bit. Okay. So there's Abbey Word there. In Synaptic, I'm going to mark for installation. It wants all the extras. So yeah, we're going to mark them. And we're going to apply that. Yes, only 15 meg. Lovely. We're down over the fuzz and see if it works that way. I'm just showing you so you know before if you get upset or anything. A bit of drinkage. Mm. Very nice. It's now applying everything we need. I've left that for you here. And you can see. I'm not putting music on tonight because I haven't got much time. I just want to get a video out to see to show you what I've been doing, really, which is not a lot in the Linux world or the video world. So we're going to close that. Wait for Synaptic to reload. Now, in theory, in the terms of it, in theory, that should now be there. And yes, it is. And it opens. Lovely. Don't like the theme, but hey. So the basic add and remove software section is basically awoken. It's broke, broke. All the rest, though, actually works, so that's okay, you know. So you've got your appearance settings, audio devices, G-parted, etc., etc., you run and shut down. Comes with Chromium as default browser. Now, before I go any further, we'll go to run Raspberry Pi thing up here. And this is the original uh, text I got from the site, from the Exxon. Now, they're a Swedish group, and as you know, they do a lot of stuff, an awful lot of distros. So if I scroll down, I'll show you where to download it first. Oh, by the way, this also don't work. Look, I want to run the plugin. You don't want to run. So maybe I've got to install Flash manually. Ooh. So you can install it from here. Okay. Just download from sourceforce.net. I will leave a link, not tonight, but tomorrow I'll put a link in when I've got some time. Okay. But as you say, all other Linux Exxon systems, if we click on there and see what happens. There is loads. Xtix, Slackx, X1 Defender. I done one the other day for E17, didn't I? It was, whatever it was, I can't remember now. Might have been Xgent. There is loads. It's also got a pup one here, which I might go and give that a go. You know? Just have a look. Just have a look while I'm here. I know it's totally off subject, but hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is there a date there? No date. Hmm. Yeah. I'll go and look at that another time. Okay, so if you want a pixel on your hard drive, this is the first way to do it. It's not perfect. You may want to fix it yourself. See so how you go. But I like it. It's all right. Oh, yeah, we'll keep the desktop. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.